In this video, I'm going to show you how to terminate Cat6 cable with regular RJ45 ends and then test it with a four pair copper tester. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna score the jacket gently. Make sure you don't nick the ends. We're gonna be using T568B. That's a pretty standard specification. It's orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So I'm gonna untwist them just with my fingers. Sometimes people like to use the jacket or like an untwisting tool. It just depends on the type of cable. This is just regular Cat6, and it's actually pretty smooth. It's superior Essex cable, so it's not as not too hard on your fingers, but it'll get pretty tiresome after a while, so figure out what's best for you. So you're going to want to straighten them out as you untwist them, get them nice in a line, kind of flatten them out to make a nice kind of ribbon-type cable situation. And after a while, you'll get pretty used to how long it should be. I've done thousands of these, so I know pretty well. So then you want to slide it into the mod plug. Make sure all of the colors are in the correct order. Crimp it down. Looks good. Now let's move on to the other end. And we'll crimp it down. I'm building pretty good about this one. So let's take out the remote, plug it in, plug in the other end to the tester, turn it on, should go ahead and just test it, and then boom, got the check. All four pairs passed. So that's pretty much it. So just to recap, this is my favorite crimping tool. This is Klein Tools. I'll leave a link in the description. And then these are the tried and true Klein Tools snips. Pretty common, pretty easy, pretty standard. And then that's pretty much it. And I'm using just regular RJ45 mod plugs, ice cubes, whatever you want to call them.